do you have memories at all of the intervening months between December of 41 and spring of 42? Just speaking um, uh, on one side of the gate to Dolly Jane on the other side. And where was that? In the Salinas, on the rodeo grounds where we were first imprisoned. Not all history makes its way into the textbooks found in your everyday classroom. Sometimes history lives in the memories of our older community members who witnessed historical events firsthand. Oral histories or audio and video recordings of a single person's recollection of a time, place, or event can help us to better understand the past through a particular lens. There are a few strategies for how we can read or listen to an oral history. On your first listen, ask simply what is being said. What is the narrative? Is there a scene or image that particularly stands out? When is this memory taking place and who are the people involved? Second, pull back and reflect on who is talking and why. What is the narrator's perspective or relationship to the event he or she is describing? Was she present in there in the moment, or is she relaying something she heard from someone else? Third, consider what is not said. Study the oral history for the narrator's silences, facial expressions, if a video, or moments in one's recollection that lack detail. Memory is slippery, and sometimes I don't remember or I don't know are the most honest responses. Consider, for example, how vividly you are able to recall certain events from when you were five. 10, and then 15. What we are able to forget can be as informative as what we are able to remember. So as you study the following oral histories, consider what is being said and why. Then conduct a final close reading of the small gestures, silences, and even tone of voice of the narrator to consider how one person's experience is translated to memory.